Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. So today's video I am kind of just doing a comfortable type of video where I'm just like sitting down. I just hopped out of the shower now. I washed my hair, I shaved, I cried a little bit. Earlier I'm just like feeling so emotional right now, I just don't know why. Um and I just feel I don't feel my best. But then yeah, we just have to move and just carry on. Because life is tough, but then we just have to like get up again and just carry on. Okay, so anyways, so I just decided to like do this video for you guys because I am in bed right now. Well, not really in bed, but I'm like in bed, you know. I might just watch a movie afterwards. Like I was planning on watching Mean Girls. Okay, so I've watched No Way. I've watched it yesterday and or oh, two days ago and I was crying. Like my eyes were red. I was crying. And then this afternoon like a few like two hours ago i watched old which is also on netflix and it was so beautiful it's kind of really beautiful it was kind of like a suspense type of movie but like for me it was worse than no way i feel like i enjoyed no way more and i'll definitely watch no way again but old not really okay so i'm just gonna get into the video because i'm talking too much okay so i got many questions from you guys and thank you thank you thank you so so much for asking me questions and replying to my question thing because i never thought you guys would do it so i was scared maybe i'm gonna have to like make up my own questions and i'm so scared of that but thank you guys for um for asking me questions and these questions really mean a lot to me because many of them are like kind of are like questions that i can see that you guys want to know about you know and also because i'm so young and i'm married i feel like it's different because many of you guys are like my age and maybe a little bit younger maybe a little bit older and you know so i'm gonna be answering a question um i have a few questions here i'm gonna be answering them answering them i have them in a order kind of so i'm just gonna answer whatever the first one is and just carry on okay first question i got is are you married <clears throat> i think i got this question from someone who doesn't really know much about me but yes i am i'm married now for just over a month it's gonna be two months um the end of october so crazy right next question is how old are you i am 19 i just turned 19 just about two months ago in july yeah two months ago do you have kids uh, so with this question i have like three other questions with it i'm gonna be reading it to you guys first and i'll like reply like answer it so do you have kids do i want kids how many kids do you want am i taking anything for fertility so first of all i don't have kids yet um do i want kids differently how many kids do i want i feel like i want i don't know i feel like with finances maybe like if let's say i had all the money in the world and i could afford a child i probably have one like three to four maybe even five kids because i feel like 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 later on in my years like i get one now get one five years time then another five years another five years you know like to try to like have an age gap for them all but realistically i would want maybe one or two like i feel like that's kind of something that i just want like one or two one is enough even but then once the baby grows up you just miss having a baby like i can imagine that so i feel like maybe one or two maybe even three but i feel like one or two will be enough yeah. and then am i taking anything for fertility no i'm not so the thing is even though i'm married and i'm allowed to have a child and i can have a child if we you know do what you're supposed to do um but the thing is we do do what we, we, we like we do do the things but <clears throat> we're not trying to have a baby you understand what i mean we're not trying to like like nothing goes in me for me to have a baby so i don't feel like i need to take anything um we haven't tried like so far we haven't done anything to like make me get pregnant because we don't really want to get we don't really want to get pregnant right now so that is just kind of the story so that's why we don't have kids that we might not get kids in the next few months maybe the next year or two who knows you know um next question how did me and my husband meet i get this question like a lot like many of you guys asked me this question man is getting tired now <laughs> many of you guys asked me how did me and my husband meet so um 
we met in 2019 um so just before we met so it kind of like i'm going to tell you guys a little story okay so my mom and his mom they knew each other they met in court like my mom went to his mom for like advice and stuff and then i became friends with his sister because we went to church together and i went to visit them a lot and then eventually i got to be friends with him which was super cool but it was such a weird thing because like he's like nine years older than me so for us to be friends wasn't really normal you know so then one as soon as we like so i was into other two guys at the point like at that time 2019 i was into two guys but then i had to choose one of them and i chose one but the one i chose wasn't really doing the things you know he wasn't like doing relationship things and that kind of irritated me because like i'm not gonna date you if you can't be consistent in our relationship and if you don't see anything for us like i'm not here to just to have fun i'm here for a purpose okay so then eventually i kind of drifted away from him and then i was like and then yeah so like also at the time my husband was like trying to put us together like helping him and me put us together yeah but then i ended up like liking my husband because he was a good person and he really cared for me and he asked me questions and he was really into me in like not like into me he never liked me at that point because i was younger he never really saw me as something like he literally saw me as a baby sister and yeah like who does that but he saw me as a baby sister and i was like one day he said that and i lost my mind but obviously i kept it in because like no one at the time knew that i was in love not really in love but that i liked a guy that's like almost 10 years older than me but anyways so then that's how we met and then eventually we became close and then eventually we became close and closer and closer and closer and the rest is history okay <laughs> Um, next question is how was your parents reaction to you getting married so at first it was a shock okay so because like because i'm young and people always say like you have your whole life ahead of you and why did you have to rush into things it was like that right but then i feel like because they knew it's gonna happen they just made made peace with it and then like accepted that um so it was a bit difficult for my mom because i had to like leave her you know she's alone she's like not alone but like she had to like let go of me in the young age so it's kind of sad though like i do miss it like even today like i was crying about it and things and i saw it today earlier but sometimes you just have those moments where it's like you still need your mom and yeah my dad i think he's okay with it like he he seems chilled about it he seemed chilled about it as well um, but they were happy for me like I can't say I feel like it just depends on your parents and how your relationship is with them and your relationship and like how your future husband relationship is with your parents that is a very big thing for me um, and the funny thing is my dad only met my husband last year so and then like the following year we're getting married it's crazy <laughs> yeah anyways. so next question is um it's a different question okay about me um, how many siblings do you have? I have one sister from my mom's side, one sister from my dad's side, and two brothers from my dad's side. So, yeah. How do you know when you meet the one? Okay, so this is like a deep question as well. So, I feel like it's different for everyone. For me personally, um, with me dating, I always knew the only reason I'm dating is to marry you. I'm not here to have fun or here to play games and... I feel like it's very difficult to you like a young person like me because you have like all these emotions and all these hormones and I never really had like you know how like teenagers like go out partying and they go and they, they like go to every they like date every second every third guy they kiss every third every second guy um I never really had that although being in a, in a like in a relationship really tied me down um, which I'm not gonna say I was perfect when me and my husband were dating. There was times that I done a few mistakes, you know. So if you guys are close to me, you guys will know. 
but I do do some mistakes and I feel like I grew from that a lot because I realized that, that isn't what I want I really want to be with someone and that someone was my my husband at the time was my boyfriend but I wanted to be with him and so that was just for me that was just like a big thing um where it's like if I date you I'm dating you to marry you you know I'm not here to date you for fun or to play games um and that you had to be patient with me when dating me because I'm not an easy person to be with so I feel like when I met my husband he was he still is the most amazing person I ever met um he's not perfect he's done some mistakes in his past um I think the thing is he's a bit older than me so it makes him more mature for his age not, not for his age but he is mature enough for me and I just grew up very fast I am much more mature than most of my 19 year old out there okay I'm gonna say that for real for real okay <clears throat> sorry guys I'm like losing my mouth my throat <clears throat> okay anyways so yeah so I feel like for me how I knew I met the one is definitely like what's your intention of dating someone and what's their intention of dating you you have to know that and i feel like it's never gonna be perfect like you're not gonna find the one where it's like oh you're gonna be hit hit what hit over heels with you. i don't know you're not gonna like be you know things happen different ways okay but for me i definitely knew he was the one when i could see myself with him and see a future with him and see myself waking up to him like every day seeing myself making lunch for him seeing myself like living with him because that's so important you know and we're not perfect definitely both of us we're not perfect but we make it work okay so i feel like it just depends on a lot when you actually meet the one and i feel like having someone who was a christian and not just a christian but someone who like loved god with all his heart was definitely a yes for me okay so my husband loves the lord he really loves him and that just is a yes okay um so i feel like with me religion and having a relationship with god is really important so that's how i also knew that this is the one for me okay next question is what do you use for your skin routine so the only thing i use currently is um i'll try to insert a picture of it right here if i remember if i remember okay i'll try to like insert the picture so i use this for my face when i wash my face um i i use the cream from avon as well i'll insert the other picture here but it doesn't work for me because it makes my skin dry it's like a matte type of um you know like it feels matte to my face so it's not good enough right <laughs> he just came in the room now. <laughs> What's wrong? Oh, I'm just taking a video. <laughs> it's fine. And then so that's all I use for my face at the moment. I don't like to put any like lotion or cream on my face because then I get pumps and yeah, okay. Next question What kind of job do you do? And I also got back to other questions with this. What did I do? What do I do for a living and does it make me happy? What was your dream job when you were younger? So, first of all, I am currently working at a cable company. I'm the reception and I do like invoicing and filing. It's kind of boring, but it's it's fun, but also boring at the same time. Okay, then what do I do for a living? Yeah, and then does it make me happy? Um... I don't know like I feel like it has its off like on off days which is normal and I feel like it's not really where I want to be you know if I had my way and like also next question that what's my dream job my dream job if I had my way would definitely be working with kids um so either working with kids or like doing content with it like with like um Instagram and brands and taking pictures that's definitely something that I would love to do you know so I feel like I'll get there. Um, yeah. That's also what I do. So that's, that's the question. Next question. What are you most grateful for? Um, to be honest, right now, I'm most grateful for having um, a husband that is just there for me. 
you know and just having like someone that because i feel like many people suffer and suffer but like struggle to find someone out there so i feel like i'm very grateful that i found the person um that i can spend the rest of my life with you know next thing what is your biggest dream um to be honest i feel like all my dreams have just changed like over the past few months because um one of my dreams was definitely to like become miss south africa but then now <laughs> yeah sorry <laughs> this guy so one of my dreams was definitely to um become miss south africa but then the girl got married okay so now i can't become miss south africa anymore but i can become miss south, Mrs. south africa maybe in the maybe in a few years time you know <laughs> so we'll see um we'll definitely see okay um, but i feel like right now one of my dreams is definitely to be happy and successful in my life and definitely i want a child you know definitely a baby and then being happy and successful that's a current dream for me right now okay next question what church do you go to we go to a church called bridge so it is in Alberton where I'm currently at. Um, I will definitely leave the um, not link but like the Instagram name so you guys can go and check it out. And you guys are invited to come to my church. Okay, they have three services at eight a.m., ten thirty. Oh gosh, no, it's eight. It's eight o'clock, ten o'clock, and five o'clock, like five at night. So, yeah next what what how do you celebrate your birthday so um last year i had like a big 18 party this year we just like me and my husband at the time was my boyfriend and like at the evening he was my fiance <laughs> he was so sweet um yeah so you were, so last year we had like a party with my friends this year we just went for a lunch like to a fancy place I went to Starbucks and a meal and went some shopping. So it was quite, it was nice and spending it. And just we had like an evening with some cake and some of my like my mom, my dad, and his parents and grandparents. So I feel like I celebrate my birthday very every year like changes. I feel like next year when I turn twenty, maybe I want to like um probably go out again like with family and friends, my friend, my family and my husband and. Just go out for lunch again, you know. I'm not really that into big birthdays, but my twenty first, I want to like have a a proper birthday, you know. Yeah. Okay. Next question. Um, my top ten go to meals. I don't have ten right now, but I'm gonna give like a few. Okay. Um, McDonald's burgers always. Um, ice cream definitely. Chicken chow fun. So this is like chicken chow mein, but without the noodles. I like the rice. Okay, same thing, but just with the rice. I love that. That's my favorite. And then waffles and ice cream, definitely. And then I also love Nando's quarter chicken, the hot flavor, the breast portion. Well done, the best. I also like biryani and a mac and cheese. So that are, those are my top ten um go to meals. You know. Um. Also nuggets. I've started to like nuggets and like wraps. So. Yeah. Next is, am I going to do a house vlog? And then am I also going to do a fully finished vlog for my house? So yes, I am. I do currently have like my house, my house vlog. I have it. I might just edit it. I keep on. I don't have time to edit. Okay, I don't have time. Um, but I'm trying, guys. I'm trying. I'm trying. Okay. So, um, am I gonna do the house vlog? Um. Okay, I do, I do have it, okay. Um, but it's an empty house for like, like a tour of the house. And maybe I'll post it in the next week or two. I don't know. And in the fully, fully finished vlog, I really think so. Because I feel like the house isn't the way that I want it. Like we don't like the couch. I don't like the couches. I don't like the curtains so much in the lounge. I don't like... We still need a headboard. We still need tables for our bedside table. I still need a new mirror, I still need, there's so much things we still need for the house, but if you guys want to let me know, maybe I'll just do like, um, whatever we have in house right now, and then 
I'll just like redo another one when we get new things. Okay. Ne last three questions. How is married life so far and living together? So married life so far, it's going well. Um, I can't really complain about anything. Um, it's still something new to both of us where we have to like learn how to give each other space. Well, me, I have to learn to give him space because I always want him with me. And that's something that's so like, it's not very good um because i always want him with me i always want him to be lay with me i always want him to sit with me and i feel like sometimes i feel like i've been giving him space where like i'll be in the room he'll be in the lounge or i'll be watching a movie um he'll be doing his own things i feel like giving each other spaces are important for us um but other than that it's been going well okay and living together is fun um even in the mornings when we wake up it's so fun because like we both get to keep and um together and i we both get dressed together and we both like it's like it's such i love the routine in the morning because like we wake up together and it's so amazing <sighs> it's amazing guys it's amazing okay um next question so kind of like a deep question how do you and your husband deal with temptation so i would say like being married we haven't really had any temptation so far and even if we do that's just enough okay so he always told me that we should never put ourselves in a position to be tempted okay so like if i go to a party with friends and there's like influences there like you know like bad influences influences there's guys there there's alcohol there there's ways for me to be tempted i should stay away from that you understand what i mean so or he goes to a party with his girls thing all those other things like why would you put yourself in a situation where you can get tempted you know what i mean um like it's literally like you're tasting the devil like you say okay i'm gonna go there and we're gonna see what the devil can do for me you know what i mean so with us with me in the past um you always you always like tell me that like why put just why put you why put yourself in a situation where you can get tempted like don't do that don't do that okay don't do that so if you guys ever feel tempted, don't put yourself in a situation where you know you're going to be tempted. Don't do that. Okay. Next questions. What were your considerations when you decided that you're ready to get married at a young age? So I feel like many people ask this question like, why, why did you get young married yet? Why did you get married young? <laughs> or like, you know, I feel like. And then I also got another question where it was like. How did you really know that you really liked the guy and that you wanted to marry him? Meaning like my husband. So I think with this girl asking, she kind of knew um, that I think a few years ago, a few, I think it was last year or like, it wasn't last year, it was, it was the year before last, yeah, the year before last when I was in grade 11, I was busy with another guy. So I was just like talking to him and like he knew about this so i feel like at that point i wasn't focused in my own relationship so it was like uh, okay this girl's married now so how is she married but then like two years ago she's busy with another guy but anyways okay so i'm gonna tell you guys a story about that so i had to experience other things um, and I think the saddest part is I was with my boyfriend, like my husband at the time, where I was with him. And even though like many things that I've done broke him and we were literally going to break up like a few times, I think three times we actually broke up. Once was re was like really bad. Um, It was really bad. Okay. Um, So we like always broke up, but I feel like we always worked through it. And that just made us strong at the end. So definitely with us moving with us getting married was like a different step like a bigger and better step into us living together and just having a new life together you understand what i mean and also one of the reasons why we got married young was if it not me not us but me okay so we decided to move in together this year like now so in order for us to move in together we had to get married that is what we believe in like we can't live together and not like be married so that's like one of the reasons why that's like the main reason why we actually got married so soon 
um if we never lived together probably would have got married like next year um but definitely would have got married anyways okay but i'm so happy we got married now because like it just everything happens in god's time you know like god just had a had like his time was perfect okay so we had everything that we got married like the place we got married that everything was perfect so um yeah I think that's like all my questions. I'm so out of breath right now. <laughs> I'm so tired as well. Um, I've just spoke to you guys for like 25 minutes or so. I'm not going to edit this video. I think I might because I have to like add things. So I'm going to edit it for you guys now. Hopefully as soon as I can. <laughs> and then yeah. So if you guys watched until the end. I don't even know because I talk so much. But I'm going to see if I can make this video short. So I'm going to try. I'm really going to try maybe like 20 minutes. Okay. Because I heard you guys say to me that you guys like the shorter video, like the longer videos. So I hope you guys are going to watch this video because I don't know. Okay. But anyways, thank you guys for watching. Thank you guys so much for all the questions that you guys asked me. I literally appreciate every single question. And let me know if you guys have any other questions. Let me know your thoughts on my, on my, um, like on my answers of the questions. Let me know if there's anything else you guys want to want me to on. Let me know anything else you guys want to know from the questions that i answered <laughs> okay and thank you guys for watching let me know anybody's any video suggestions don't forget to hit the subscribe button don't forget to go and give this video a big thumbs up and i'll see you guys in my next video hopefully it's the the vlog for the house we'll see love you guys thank you so much and see you guys in my next video Bye bye